Welcome to the reading of the Sabbath School lesson for the second quarter of 2022. Welcome to lesson number nine in the series on Genesis, titled Jacob the Supplanter. It's ready for teaching on May 28, and my name's Percy Harold. Monday, May 23, Jacob's Ladder. As soon as Esau learns that Jacob has received his father's blessing, he understands that he has been deceived and supplanted by his brother. We read that yesterday in Genesis 27:36, and he wants to kill him in verse 42. Rebekah is worried and wants to prevent this crime that would be fatal for both sons in verse 45. So, with the support of Isaac in chapter 28, verse 5, she urges Jacob to flee to her family in verse 43 of chapter 27. On his way to exile, Jacob encounters God in a dream at a place that he will call Bethel, the house of God, and there will make a vow. Compare Genesis 28:10 to 22 with Genesis 11:1 to 9. How is Bethel different from Babel? What lesson can we learn about our relationship with God from Jacob's experience at Bethel versus what happened at Babel? First of all, Genesis 28, beginning at verse 10. Now Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. So he came to a certain place and stayed there all night because the sun had set. And he took one of the stones of that place and put it at his head, and he lay down in that place to sleep. Then he dreamed, and behold, a ladder was set up on the earth, and its top reached to heaven. And there the angels of the Lord were ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham your father and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie I will give to you and your descendants. Also your descendants shall be as the dust of the earth. You shall spread abroad to the west and to the east, to the north and the south, and in you and in your seed all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go, and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven." Then Jacob arose early in the morning and took the stone that he had put at his head, set it up as a pillar, and poured oil on top of it. And he named the name of that place Bethel. But the name of the city had been Luz previously. Then Jacob made a vow, saying, If God will be with me and keep me in this way that I am going, and give me bread to eat and clothing to put on, so that I come back to my father's house in peace, Then the Lord shall be my God, and this stone which I have set as a pillar shall be God's house, and of all that you give me I will surely give a tenth to you. And Genesis chapter 11 verse 1. Now the whole earth had one language and one speech, and it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. Then they said to one another, Come, Let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language, and this is what they begin to do. Now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Come, let us go down, and there confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they ceased building the city. Therefore its name is called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. In this dream, Jacob sees an extraordinary ladder that is connected with God. The same Hebrew verb natsav, N-A-T-S-A-V, is used to refer to the ladder that is 
set up in Genesis 28 verse 12 and the Lord who stood in the following verse. Verse 13, as if the ladder and the Lord are the same thing. The ladder is linked to the attempt at Babel to reach heaven. Like the Tower of Babel, the ladder is to reach the door of heaven. But while the Tower of Babel represents the human effort to go up and reach God, the Ladder of Bethel emphasizes that access to God can be achieved only through God's coming to us and not through human effort. As for the stone on which Jacob had put his head and had his dream, it becomes the symbol of Bethel, the house of God, in verse 17. We'll compare that with chapter 28 and verse 22. And this stone, which I have set as a pillar, shall be God's house, and of all that you give me, I will surely give a tenth to you. Which points to the temple, the sanctuary, the centre of God's saving activity for humanity. Yet, Jacob does not limit to the spiritual and the mystical his expression of worship and sense of awe concerning what had happened to him. That is, he wanted to respond in concrete outward terms. Thus, Jacob decides to give a tenth to God, not in order to obtain God's blessing, but as a grateful response to God's gift, which already has been given to him. Here again we see the idea of tithe long before the rise of the nation of Israel. And so to finish today, read Genesis 28 verse 22. The tithe is taken from all that you give me. Let's read that. And this stone which I have set as a pillar shall be God's house, and of all that you give me I will surely give a tenth to you. What important point should we take from what Jacob says here about tithe and what it is? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind, and It Is Written. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. Remember, God is always faithful.